that, guys? It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful summer night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And it is Thursday night, July 28th. And we all know what that means because it is the number one story on the planet. It is all over the mainstream media today, all over the alternative media, everyone from Fox News to CNN, from Huff Post to the Washington Post, uh, making it their number one story of the day. And of course, that is because today is Earth Overshoot Day 2022. And, uh, Good Lord, guys, it is 10.36 p.m., and I'm just now getting ready to, uh, just sitting down, because let's see, I, I started out my day, we had to uh, cut down this dead ash tree out of the uh, power lines, uh, so I don't lose my power from the grid here. And that's a, then of course I had to take my chainsaw to the shop. Uh, it took a while. My main thing I was doing today was renting this, this damn trailer from U-Haul so I could load it up with all of these uh, big ass dead hemlock tree boards. You know, I love looking out over at this hemlock forest right across the street from me. Uh, if there wasn't a wall here, I would be looking at a beautiful hemlock grove. Yes, but uh, I have a beautiful trailer full of dead hemlock trees. And after I unloaded the uh, dead hemlock trees, I had to go down to the <clears throat> harbor store and get this giant culvert. Uh, I had to get this big-ass $600 I shelled out on this big-ass culvert because you know I'm trying to ram a I'm you know I need to bulldoze a road uh, up to the new tiny house that we're building so it's been a busy earth overshoot day for me and uh, so I've just uh, I've just been too busy overshooting the planet so uh, but we all know what today is good Lord I appreciate uh, all of you guys, uh, you know, like, dude, it's Earth Overshoot Day. Like, really? Well, I'm too busy bulldozing and killing hemlock trees and tuning up my chainsaw to pay any attention. Okay, we're just going, who sent me this? this is uh, Brother Kevin sent me this one from fizz.org. Yes, we have alarm alarm as Earth hits overshoot day on Thursday. Yes, uh, I noticed, uh, like, alarms going off. You know, I noticed alarms at the, uh, big alarms going off at the sawmill. I noticed alarms going off at the chainsaw repair shop. I noticed alarms going off at the, uh, you know, the building supply place I was at. There were sure as hell alarms going off at the highway department here in my little small town. All sorts of alarms. I, I know you guys have been hearing the, the alarms all day long. All day long these damn alarms. I don't know how I'm going to get to sleep tonight with these alarms going off. These alarms, they started at 5 o'clock this morning. I got ripped out of bed by the first Earth Overshoot alarm. And uh, good Lord, I am exhausted from all these alarms. All right. Alarm as Earth hits Overshoot Day today. Yes. World living on credit. We are living on credit with well, the world and everybody in it. Uh, so what is Earth Overshoot Day for any of you living under a rock? 
Earth Overshoot Day defines the date when humanity has consumed all natural resources that the Earth can renew in a year. Yes, this is from the Global Footprint Network, and uh, we've mentioned many times. Okay, mankind marks a dubious milestone today, the day by which humans, humans have consumed all that planet Earth can sustainably produce for this year. Yes, with NGOs warning, the rest of 2022 will be lived in resource deficit. This is from the, this article is from the French News Service, by the way. The date dubbed Earth Overshoot Day marks a tipping point. This is our annual tipping point. This is people who don't understand what a tipping point is. This is a tipping point, marks a tipping point when people have used up all that ecosystems can regenerate in one year, according to the Global Footprint Network and uh, the good old World Wildlife Fund. Yes, I love this dude. I've always loved this dude's name, Mathis Wackernagel. Uh, president of the Global Footprint Network, quote, from January 1st to July 28th, humanity, otherwise known as humans, humanity has used as much from nature as the planet can renew in the entire year. That is why today is Earth Overshoot Day. <clears throat> the Earth this is uh, Mr. Wacker Nagel. The Earth has a lot of stock, so we can deplete Earth for some time. Yes, we can deplete Earth for some time, but we cannot overuse it forever. It's like with money. We can spend more than we earn for some time until... We're broke, yes, and this is this figure you read all the time. Uh, it would take 1.75 planet Earths to provide for the world's population in a sustainable way, according to the measure which was created by researchers in the early 90s. Uh, Earth Overshoot Day has fallen ever sooner over the last 50 years. Now in 2020, you might remember that the date moved back three weeks due to the corona panic before returning last year to pre-pandemic levels. Yes, okay, the burden the burden of, hum of humans on the planet is not evenly spaced. If everyone lived like an American, you, you, you know, uh, cutting trees out of power lines, uh, tuning up chainsaws, filling trailers full of dead hemlock trees, uh, installing culverts to blast a new road up the side of a mountain, you know, those kind of Americans they're talking about. If everybody <clears throat> lived like an American. The date would have fallen even earlier on March 13th, Wack Wacker Nagel said. So I guess it was America Overshoot Day back on March 13th, which I think was Friday the 13th, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> All right. The two NGOs, this is Global Footprint, uh, network and World Wildlife Fund point the finger. Point the finger at what? Okay. This is Global Footprint Network talking about humanity eating the planet. 
and the World Wildlife Fund, so they have scratched their head. Who can we blame this on? And so they're pointing their finger this year. So who do you think they're pointing their finger at? Are they pointing their finger at global industrial civilization? Are they pointing their finger at the transportation sector? You know, cars, planes, trains, planes, trains, and automobiles. Are they pointing their finger at climate change? Are they pointing their finger at, I don't know, the global food uh, production? Are they pointing their finger at agriculture for this reason? Or are they pointing their finger at the 8 billion humans that are eating the planet? Okay, if your answer for the finger pointing was the global food production system give yourself a gold star yes the food production system and its considerable ecological footprint okay now looking at their you know their world their earth overshoot day in total more than half of the planet's bio capacity 55% in fact is used to feed humanity. Uh, Pierre Canet of World Wildlife France said a large part of the food and raw materials are used to feed animals and animals that are consumed after, uh, afterwards. In the EU, 63% of arable land is directly associated with animal production, he said. Mm, getting back to the report, agriculture, you know, feeding humans, contributes to deforestation, climate change by emitting greenhouse gases, loss of biodiversity, and degradation of ecosystems while using a significant share of fresh water. Yes. Okay. Based on scientific evidence, they advocate reducing meat consumption in rich countries. Yes. This is Leticia Malis of the Global Footprint Network. Quote, if we could cut meat consumption by one half, we could move the date of the overshoot by 17 days. So instead of July 28th, it would be on August 14th. Yes. Limiting food waste would push the date back by 13 days, and that's not insignificant, she added. Yes. And I guess it just ends there. So anyway, okay, guys, for anybody. And, and I was going to read this email from this friend of mine in, uh, in Austin. She is, uh, she is the mother of three, the grandmother of I don't know how many grandkids Lulu has. Now she is a great-grandmother. But at age, how old is Lulu? I'm guessing Lulu's right around 70 years old. At age 70, Lulu has apparently become a vegetarian. She has become a vegetarian. She is no longer participating uh, in the animal agriculture. And uh, at age 70, she has had her last burger, she tells me. Uh, she is out to save the planet. She didn't mention whether her children, her grandchildren, and now her great-grandchildren have, uh, have also joined her in to save the planet by stopping eating meat. 
And uh, so she emailed me, and you, you, you know, and I said, well, darling, I, I said, good for you. I said, but, you, you know, why did you reach this decision? I guess she's watched some David Attenborough thing that Sir David has convinced her to stop eating meat. And she told me, as you can read Chris Hedges saying the same thing, that it is animal agriculture. It is eating meat. Uh, is the number way number one way we're destroying the planet. So uh, she is going to save the planet at age seventy by stopping eating meat. And I said, well, actually, uh, Lulu, the best way to save the planet is to stop breeding because a person who is never born has exactly zero carbon slash environmental footprint. I'm quite sure she is, uh, has no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, so what did we say? What did, what did we hear here? Okay, by if we would just stop eating meat by one half. All right. If uh, we would uh, if, if just just cut your meat consumption in half, and we could move Earth Overshoot Day from July 28th to August 14th, and we could all pat ourselves on the back. Well, there was one way, and one way only, to move Earth Overshoot Day to December 31st. Does anybody know? How to move Earth Overshoot Day from July 28th to December 31st. All right? There's one way to do it. It is not stopping eating meat. It is stopping breeding. This is real rocket science. Okay? If humanity's overshoot of this planet is the solution, I mean, is the problem, and Earth Overshoot Day on July 28th is the problem. Anybody who wants to push Earth Overshoot Day to December 31st, there is one way to do it. One way. Keep your pecker in your pants or get a vasectomy, get your tubes tied, someone who is never born has zero uh, carbon environmental impact. I know this novel idea that I sound like a broken record about. Uh, so that is the way to do it. All right, so now that we all know how to move Earth Overshoot Day, is that is making planet Earth a human exclusion zone. Okay, as long as there is one human walking on this planet, uh, you're going to have uh, one human. Probably Earth Overshoot Day will be about Christmas. Two humans, maybe Thanksgiving. Anyway, I have got to wrap up. Uh, it's because I am exhausted, and I am sure I have a hard day of overshooting the planet tomorrow. So I got to get this big pile of lumber up the hill to my brand new, better, tiny house. Get out there and uh, enjoy overshooting the planet, uh, and see if we can make Earth Overshoot Day. Let's aim for let's aim for the Fourth of July next year, guys. That's all band together. We're going to look at 4th of July, uh, Earth Overshoot Day 2023. I know we can do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. It just takes enough people. Bye, guys. Yes, you little Earth Overshooting dog. How have you been overshooting the Earth? You have... Oh, I've got your factory farm chicken out there that I got to get in the refrigerator.